Hello lovely people. This video is going to show you how to make ga'at, Eritrean call it ga'at, Ethiopians call it um, gemfo, and then Americans we call it porridge, but they don't necessarily have it this way. Uh, we usually have it with a little tea, a um, little yogurt on the side of it. Um, basically the flowers that we use is one is, is this one right here that you're seeing, a Herrera flower tortilla flour and um, this is barley flour right here my mom is basically just putting it in a, in a pot and just kind of mixing it around with the little um, medium high heat I believe high or medium I don't I don't I didn't pay attention but a lot of times people don't follow this little step right here but my mom thinks it's good because as you can see um, on that little slide there was chunky grains so she just kind of wants to take that out um, in the meantime you boil your water once your water gets um, once the water is in the pot and um, it boils you add um, your porridge but from here what you see is she's taking out a little bit of the hot water on the side and you'll see why uh, she added a little bit of salt um, and just added porridge so uh, for this to make this you really need a strong arm because it gets a little bit difficult um, as as you continue to make it because it's going to get thicker and it's going to be really really hard to steer so um, you know basically you just slowly add flour onto the water while you're stirring with a wooden spoon and after, after you add a significant amount of flour the mixture starts to get extremely thick and making it really hard to stir. So um, when it gets to that point uh, you have to stir very hard so there won't be any lumps and you just add a little bit of water um, to the side and then just continue to stir so it won't stick at the bottom of <laughs> at the bottom of your pot and burn so and when the water gets absorbed um, add a little bit more water so you know to the side and continue with your stirring for about maybe another four to seven minutes it depends you know you gotta definitely eye it uh, and then once the water gets absorbed then you you can remove the gamfo or gaat or porridge <laughs> um, from the heat and then add a little bit of uh, melted butter um, you know I, I've, I've explained what butter is what kind of butter that we use um, it's a little bit of um, the Habesha butter mixed with a little American butter but there's a whole preparation to get it to that point so it's not like people are just putting you know that and that and going from there but um, anyways uh, maybe I'll make a video for that in the future uh, once you do that um, you put the gat in a bowl like this and um, use your spoon or uh, we used a little um, we call it finjal the little cup to kind of make that perfect hole um, and you know and just add a little um, butter and a little bit of barbare inside of it um, just just enough because you'll see this this little goes a long way <laughs> I mean yeah it's oh, this is heaven to me this right here is the bomb um, and some people like it with a little yogurt some don't I like it with a little yogurt it's just it's, it just tastes good to me it just tastes amazing um, and a lot of times people leave it the way it is um, my mom usually put um, she you'll see what she does I, I'm not even gonna spoil the video <laughs> Like that see and get your shahi and get your you have to mix it because there's salt in there there's barbara in there's um the butter so and this is what happens after me and my two brother went in hard on it damaged the food <laughs> it's so good and this part it gets even better like when we call it the bridge fasasa um uh, <laughs> so it's really good but yeah this is the yummy gaat hope you guys like the video